You need to know something. Your story matters. You know, as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by stories. My dad was a war hero. He came back from the Pacific after World War II. And as I grew up, he just flooded my life with stories about the war. I remember we would invite friends to our house and I would go to bed because I was a little kid and I would sneak out of the bed and sit at the top of the stairs just listening to my dad tell stories to our friends. I've always been fascinated by the power of stories and the impact they can have in people's lives. And as a result, I've spent most of my career traveling around the world filming people's stories. I've been to about 50 countries around the world. I've, I've been to the headwaters of the Amazon River in Brazil. I've lived with the Bedouins in the Middle East. I've been through a military coup in Africa. I've had my crew arrested during a revolution in a country. All in pursuit of incredible stories because I'm absolutely convinced people need to hear powerful and compelling stories. And the one thing I would probably tell you right now is that your story matters. You know what? I don't care what situation you're in. I don't care if, you, you know, if you're in trouble. I don't care if you're frustrated. I don't care if you feel like you've hit an obstacle or hit a wall, uh, hit bottom, or if you're doing well. Whatever your situation in life is, I can tell you one thing. Your story matters and it needs to be told. And I would encourage you to embrace your past because your past has led you up to where you are today. Your education, your family, your jobs, that divorce you may have had, that, that being fired from your work, that failure in your past, whatever it is, all of those things, good and bad, have led you to the place they are and they've created the story of your life. And I'll tell you something, your story needs to be heard by somebody because it can change somebody's life. And uh, you know, I, I, one thing I would say is though, Whatever your story is, it's not complete until you've connected to the eternal story. Really, God's story is the story that gives our life significance. And so one thing I would encourage you to do is whatever you are, wherever you are, I would take a minute and turn your life over to God because allowing His story to be a part of yours will make a dramatic, dramatic difference in your life. Just take that minute right now and just ask God to come into your life Ask Him to take over, ask forgiveness for the mistakes you've made in your past, the sins of your past, the, the, the wrong turns you've made. Take that minute and ask Him to come in and give your story meaning and significance. Because when that happens, trust me, everything will change. There's someone out there that needs to hear your story, and it's time you started telling it. But when you connect with God's story, it takes your story to an entirely new world level. I think it's so incredibly important today because we live in this cluttered culture where so many stories, so many media messages, so many other things are distracting us every day. I think sometimes we need to take a minute, think about who we are and where we've come from and how we need to connect to the ultimate story, the story of God and how much He cared for us, that He was willing to send His Son to die so that we could renew our story and renew our relationship with Him. Take that minute right now. Connect your story to God's story because when that happens, trust me, as someone who spent his life pursuing great stories, when you connect to God's story, everything about your story will change.